Oh, the sound went out again. God damn. Oh. of your own. We offer mortgage loans that help you purchase your new home with down payments as low as 3%. Find out more about our low down payment options and other ways Chase is making home buying surprisingly simple. Learn more at chase.com slash Chicago or your local Chase branch. All home lending products are subject to credit and property approval. Rates, program terms, and conditions are subject to change without notice. Not all products are available in all states or for all amounts. Other restrictions may apply. Home lending products offered by J.P. Morgan Chase Bank, N.A., an equal housing lender. Those are tied with the coach. I'll pass the train. Okay, I gotta do the pattern thing again. Starting to mess up on that a little with the um with the training stuff. I think I should just always have the sound off. You know what? Yeah, we're just gonna have to sound off. The sound 
it's okay, that's on the game, but we're just gonna cap it off. We won't have to run into that problem no more. So whenever I get a notification, for whatever weird reason, it turns off the sound on here. Get me at least 10 health or more. So now I'm a mostly think about defense. I'm gonna make sure I have either the same health as him or more of them mostly think about my defense. So not gonna go for nothing because it's more important to not let him take any damage on me. So that's what we're working on. There we go. Cause if that had landed, I just automatically lose because I only got five health. Okay, so And I'm not going to need to do nothing on offense because I still got the health lead. So instead of me forcing okay. something with the offense. Now, if I had a way to like take away all his remaining health, which is nine, I would do that. But since I don't, I'm not going to worry about it. And I just realized oh, this is Bob's looting right here that he's grappling with. All right, cool. Got the three stars. Just do nothing. Yeah, you gotta make sure you, you know, play accordingly, you know, especially with the training. I think the training, because there have been times where I have to redo the training multiple times because, like, I just missed the mark by, like, one or two things and stuff with the training. More so where I will with the fight. So, training, if you just want to be like me, which is, I played the stupid way, which is trying to be a perfectionist. I always have all the stars and this and that with the three stars with this and the fights and stuff like that. I'm not sure if I uploaded a video, but I had, um, of my old game when I had, uh, um, all the stars or whatever. I had recorded it, showing that I had all the stars. Because I didn't know if I was ever going to get to play the game again. Yeah, we're, we're going to basically have the same thing because I'm taking away two energy, but I got the health lead. So, yeah, took away two of his. No, he needs nothing. Mm. He's going to block one, but he ain't going to block the other. The one you just saw me use... It's my favorite one. The, the one for three, that, that with the hold, that's my favorite one to grab on the game. And the defensive one, that's, I think it's supposed to be head and body, and it's five stamina for like three health, and I mean for like seven um, defense. That one. Oh, I can't really do nothing. Just, oh, shit. Oh, I should have tried to defend something. Fuck, oh, that's on me. Uh, I may not even win this now. I gotta go after everything. I gotta take him the out. I think I just did. Yeah. I got the 10. Sorry, boss, but that time you took every all your freaking health away. Yo, it was a good idea of me not to... See? I thought I fucked up because I was down by five and there's only two more rounds of offense. I fucked up right there, but I did it. Okay, so this is the last of the train I'm going to be able to do. So we're going to do like we did last time and, you know, and stuff like that. You know what I may do? Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to have enough for it. I may replenish the energy.
Yeah. Well, we equal on health. Four now give me eight. Uh, if I do this, I'll have perfect health. Yeah, I'm gonna just do that one. For perfect. I mean, perfect stamina, not health. I already got damage. Yeah, but now I got ten stamina. That's why I picked that one instead. Now I can go after all these. In case he goes after anything. And I got a health lead, so I'm not too worried about that. Because he's only going to tie me up again. Now, because it's such a close fight, I'm going to have to go after the legs. So I'll just have to worry about what I can with just... You know, with the nine, with the stamina, however. Alright, cool. Mm. Oh yeah, it's just... Well, we got the same health, it don't matter no more. Alright. It's the episode of Monk where Monk gets into a fight with the goddamn set of calls. <laughs> He's fighting him right now. That motherfucker can fight though. Monk can fight for whatever weird reason he can fight. And he can play football because he doesn't like getting touched. He plays football, he just messed everybody up. Because he didn't want to get touched. Alright, so we did wrestling, so yeah, I can look at stuff for the head. Okay, the body. Nothing new with the body. The legs, yeah. I'm going to take this off, because, you know, just because. Um, is there anything else that I could, I could possibly do? You know what? No, I'm gonna take that off. Yeah, one stamina is not enough for me. It's not enough to me to have. And take that off as well. Yeah, I might. Yeah, if I'm taking that off, I might as well throw the wizard back on here. Defense. No, let's look at the defense. Anything new so far? Nope. Body. Yeah, I, I want that. I definitely want that. I'll take that over. Well, I can I can have both of these. Yeah, I'm not too sure if I care to keep this right here, the low carry counter. That's all right. All that looks all right. Okay, so let's go to offense for the ground now. Put that in there. I'll see what else I got. So I may put the head thing back on there to back up. Okay. This definitely comes out because that's a better stand up one. And legs. Um, uh, yeah, that is what it is with that. Let's look at defense. Defense for the head. Nothing to add with the head. Nothing to add with the body. Look up the leg. No, nothing to add there. The head. Let's go back to office then. Let's look at office of the stand up first. Yeah. Hmm. Or should I use the other type of take down? But, you know, no, I'm going to use this instead. Uh, 
Yeah, because it has a good chance of doing some extra damage for me. Yeah, so that's what we'll have. Let me just look at the ground one more time. Hmm. Oh, damn, I pressed this one. Wait, I could just do that. Yeah. You know what? I'll take that out and... No, this is just a stand up, yeah. I mean, for the getting to the ground from there. Let's see, before I got the body, I got plenty of body. For the legs, I could go with another two down for the legs, but nah, go with the one for the head, yeah. Cause I can do a little bit more with the head. I mean, if this works against two low cars, I could use that, but the chance of that working is these two low cars is not great, so it is what it is with that. No, I got one more stamina. Let me see. Just gonna keep on saying that. I think we what this is the third day I'm playing this game and I'm still saying that crap. Let's see what other training I can possibly get into. Uh, no, they weren't sparring, damn it. Uh, sparring with this as well. Hmm. I'm not going out of the game. I'm just gonna do something real quick with it. 700. All right, we can refresh it. But wait, do I even want to refresh it though? No oh, man, on. Oh, no, if I pay to refresh it, it makes no sense because I'm more, I'm more than halfway there with the. To, I'm already halfway there to level 9. I'm almost at level 9 already, so it makes no sense to refresh it. That won't work. Hmm. Okay. What time are we on? 19. I could probably do two of these. Yeah, so I could get the sparring again. Or do two of these. If not, we'll just end it after that. Hmm. What cards are he gonna show me? I think that's a wrestling. Yeah, that's the wrestling guard. Cause the, if he ain't got on the D, that's just pure wrestling that he's using right there. So we're gonna do this and this. Not only is he only gonna be the game back two, but I'm gonna gain an extra one. So I'm gonna have six to his two. Okay. Can do whatever the hell he feel like doing. He tied me back on health, and but I still got nine with that. So, um, he got jujitsu and wrestling, so I'm gonna stand it back up for that reason. I think he got a striking style yet. Nope, he only got jujitsu and wrestling. Okay, cool. 
I'm just gonna go with this and block both of them. Oh, I could have took his energy, but I wasn't too sure if he was gonna use this one. I didn't know he had enough to do two of them. But I forgot. Hopefully that goes to critical. Nope, it doesn't do the critical. It's fucking I thought. Damn it. Shit is with body. And takedowns is what he want me to use. Yeah, I shouldn't use the takedowns. That's one of the things that can be messed up with having a balanced deck is that if you're too damn balanced, then you're going to get caught with stuff. Like, if I only had defensive cards and get up cards, I wouldn't be taking the damage you got to see me take from this guy. You know, he wouldn't be able to make it this close. And he's going to be up offense. That's the Frieza theme song that you hear in the background. If you wonder what that, um, what's that? It's what's it called? Heavy metal or something? Oh, shit. These are close matches, though. Fuck. Yeah, I gotta get back up. I should know he's gonna block that. Why would he block that? I just waste that submission hole. I'm gonna kill him. Alright, he got the submission attempt on me. That is only early. I'm not sure if having low health makes it harder for you to get out of submission or not. Yes, it does. Damn. I was almost out of there. It does make it harder to get out of submission. Ah, oh, I can only do damage. Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, you son of a... This is he tries the damn thing. He, oh, it's over for you. It's over. So if, a, if you're low on health and you get hit with a submission or a knockdown, it's going to hurt bad. Because I think that was the only time he... No, he did put me in a... Um, did he put me in a different way in the game? Submission? I don't quite remember. Good fight, though. I wish I could get freaking, you know, some type of level and up points, some type of XP for it, but still, it's fun matches to have, especially early on in the career and stuff. And I like the way that um, practice matches are tailored towards how good you are, what cars you have, you know? He got any grappling cards? Looks like he has freaking nothing. Be him, then. I know he's gonna be able to block that, but like, who cares? He'll get some damage out. When he's practice matches, you just have to survive. You saw how I almost freaking lost. He got me down to 5% and like, I just did stuff reasonably enough where it didn't really make too far to transition. I was tapping on the train, but it's not me really who's in the hole. Oh, you see that? And the glade, all this. Especially him getting more stamina, but we're still gonna be on the same thing with stamina. Yeah. But that didn't matter. Mm, yeah, I'll stand it back up because he is dangerous on the ground. I haven't seen nothing from him as far as like strikes and stuff like that. So you can pick whatever 40 cards you want out of the cards you unlock and stuff like that. But the thing is, you need to know that you need to pick stuff that you're going to act you're going to be able to get to on the game and stuff like that. Um, I'm not going to do nothing. I got enough help. Oh, I should have something. Fuck you. How is that possible? 
Yeah, motherfucker, man. Oh my god. Don't make me lose to this fool. Look at that. My shit is never. Oh, you son of a. I got the health lead, but what's the point? What's the point? You saw that? I never get the critical. He got critical. And he can kill. Oh, he just ended the fight. I hope he doesn't, but he, he definitely ended the fight. Oh my god. I just lost to the goddamn practice mode. All because I was arrogant enough to think that the freaking practice match was just gonna go after me. Well, first official loss is a practice match. But still, it's a loss nonetheless. Ah, one that I could have won too. Son of a BS. That was some BS. I wish I could rematch. You know, they don't never put on there if you're allowed to rematch and stuff like that. I should have probably screenshot if I can know. No, it don't matter because I'm not. It's not like I'm ever gonna see them again. And these are just randomly designed characters that you face in practice match, which makes it even better. I gotta press him because he got that, you know, taekwondo style that allows him to do stuns and stuff. Do you got any other style that he's using? Body lock. I mean, body clench, so that, that look like that could be Muay Thai. Not sure, though. It don't matter. I'm just gonna go for the damage. I was gonna go for the takedown, but I wasn't sure. Um, go for this. Or, you know what? He's probably gonna just go after my legs. Oh, he could go after the legs and the head. God damn it. Two in a row. Two in a row. Two matches in a fucking row where I'm not thinking right. And the stun just means I can't use one of my damn cards, which sucks. It truly sucks. At least I'm not losing yet. He decides to use office. I am taking him out. Yeah. I mean, if he decides to touch the head, to get the one point off with the left kick. You know what? No. Nah. I don't want him evading my shit again. Yeah, because he's going to keep on gonna keep on blocking everything. So let him waste a card thinking I'm going to defend it. Yeah. I mean, thinking I'm going to attack that area. You, you know what I'm talking about. So it seems that freaking this is... They're just overly aggressive at all times, you know, with the practice matches, which is great. Because I was thinking they was going to treat me as a low level, but it's great that they're trying to win the match like if I was playing online or something. Yeah, I'm going after everything. I should have used that because I can use that for later, but it's only one stamina, so it doesn't matter. I was looking for damage with that more than anything. That's bogus. Oh yeah, now nah, we're at 29. So after this is gonna be the um, sparring. Well, at least I don't... wait. Did they even show my record for um anything? Probably not. What? He just wants it to the ground. All right. Your guard pulling son of a. Oh, not, not going to use that because that's just a waste of stamina because he's going to definitely defend the Why don't you use both of those? You only need one of those cards. Alright, now it's just, now it's just behaving stupidly. Yeah, I could just do that. Take the stamina and now you're knocked out. Take the TKO. To the body. Yeah, we're going to do this sparring real quick. And then, then call it a day. Let me check that stuff. Because where is it says achievements and fight history? Oh, that's for online only. I can't, I can't see my 
Where is that on oh, here? Oh yeah, you gotta sign up for that too. Oh well. Which I could, but saying I can't. Um, do I want to do spar for this? What am I might. No. I do want to do spar for that, but I can do that next time I'm on here. Yeah, we're gonna go into the Muay Thai instead. So I think kickboxing on here is basically a mixture of karate, you know, taekwondo, and, you know, stuff like that. And kickboxing. Probably European and, you know, Asian kickboxing and American kickboxing and stuff like that. So basically, um... Whatever it's called, um, what I have to say, karate and taekwondo. They have some, because a lot of the Dutch style kickboxing, especially after they like face off with like, you know, they got good leg kicks with the Dutch style. What's it called, the Dutchy, or when you do the, the attack? With one side to load up the other side with strikes and stuff like that with a leg kick or something. Like you, you throw a jab or a cross to set up the low kick or something to load up. I should have used the other thing and I could get all that. This is a great game and like I wish it would have cut on better and more people be playing it because it is a good ass game in my opinion. There we go. Seven. Boom. Boom. I'm going to straight up do all defense now. Yeah. I like to tie me. Oh, crap. It's like one video just to get one thing. But, oh wait, that is what that is. It's saying I have used it up. Even though it's been over 24 hours and it's been a new day for like who knows how long. Because look, today is Friday and I think I started playing this. Uh, what? Tuesday? Because I don't think it's. I believe this is the fourth day they're playing this thing. Because I think I average like two videos a day, two or three a day. So, well, since we are at the end, I'm not going to waste no more time with it. Um, yeah, I said we were going to buy more, buy more energy because of, we're almost at level nine as it is. And I can, I'll start using that when we need it because right now we're on level 8 and crap like that when we get to like level 10 or 15 or 20 then we can worry about some stuff like that I'm trying to decide which sparring I should do 
I'm probably go with this one first. Because I need what? That's two. That's one. That's three right here. And we're going to need some sparring to finish up the sparring before we get back into the fight. And then we got what? One. Two. So we need six. Six of my energy is going to go towards sparring that we may be able to get two fights in. Yeah. Let's check out the fights real quick. One thing I like about that song with, with Biggie is the end with the gun in the mouth and all that other shit. Like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's fucked up, you know, that you would do that to somebody, you know, have that in the song. But it is what it is. That's their part. That's their beef or whatever, you know. I'm just showing you everything, yeah, there's, it goes up to 99, so I believe there's a hundred fights, because, you know, the first fight was during the beginning of the video and stuff. No, there's actually 101 fights, because this says 99, and that's 100. Oh, wait a minute. No. Oh. Wait. Oh, there's more than 100 fights. I'm tripping, because look, you see right here? This says 87, and that says 88. And the title fight don't count as one of the regular fights. It only counts as title fights. How many title fights are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So there's fifteen tire fights. So, and plus, oh wait, that is the first fight. So, there's ninety nine fights that you go through. Cause I ain't see a hundred after that, and that's something they could have done. Why they just keep on adding fights? Why it stops right there? They could add more divisions, which will then make them be able to add more fights. So there's ten, there's fifteen of those, fifteen title fights, I believe, give or take, and there's a hundred of the regular fights. Or 99 of the regular fights. So there's yeah, 100, yeah, there's 114 fights that you do during career mode. And the thing is, I like the way that career mode does because it forces the incentive of you needing to get better at ranking. You have to, um, you know, you have to get to a higher level in rank with the belt. So not only do you have to level up to unlock the next like fights and stuff like that, but you also have to get to a higher what's the name? You have to get to a higher belt level with all the belts overall. Cause I uh, think I'll tell you what it says. Cause I think it says all disciplines have to be at what is it, orange? Because I'm at orange right now. Let me take a look real quick. I think I'm at orange right now with the fights I got. Because it wouldn't say red, because I got the red easy. Yeah. So, these two had to be at orange before I could start and stuff like that. Or I had to have, no. I ain't, I don't, no, I don't think it said two belts. I ain't, I don't think it said all. I think it said two of my belts have to be at orange. Yeah, for me to do that or whatever. To start those next fights. Wait, did he get something else? Let's see. I can just go right here and put it in all that. Did we get anything else? Oh, yeah, we got the um head, head stuff. So, head. Damn. You know what? Oh. Uh, hmm. 
I like the triangle. You know, I can take something else off and keep the damn triangle. I like keeping the submissions until I can find a better submission. But sometimes if cars are just way better than the submission, I'll take those over them. What the hell? Hmm. I gotta take it. I'm gonna take off something for offense. So standing up, that's all oh, this could stay. I'll take off that, yeah, I'll take off that, no, I'll keep that, gotta keep it. Let's go back to the ground. Anything that looks like it shouldn't be, I'll take that off. Um, yeah, that that's just, yeah, you take that off. Not really doing too much of anything. I'd rather get some submissions in than anything else anyway, so we'll go about it like that. Because that's only one stamina, you know, it's not really too big of a thing for me. To have that on there. Okay, so it looks like we're set again. So, yeah, can't be perfect all the time on here, but that's what the practice matches are for. They give you a real feel of what could possibly happen to you come the freaking career matches or if you play online it gives you a sense of how players may play against you and the thing is is randomly done opponents and I can't rematch only way I can rematch is by doing career mode or online if you're friends or something like that or you can just challenge people who have beaten you and stuff like that when it was back and still on but I think this game would be great cause like you can add more than and we could go off the game now yeah, now that I'm talking I think I'm going to keep the sound off, because sound is okay, but like, as soon as I get a notification, it's going to mess up, so I really just have it off for that, that for that point, but basically, like, yeah, right here, I always have screenshot stuff, with me. so you see all the disciplines and stuff like that, I mean, you got wrestling, jiu-jitsu, what other grappling arts can you put on there? You could put freaking judo on there, and you could put sambo on there. And there's got to be another one. Or, no, or if they were to make this game, if they were, if they were going to make a sequel to this game, instead of just having wrestling on there, they could have more than one side, one more than one type of wrestling on there. They can have um, Greco Roman and they can have freaking folk style wrestling and collegiate. But I think I think both of those are collegiate style wrestling. I don't know what I'm talking about there. Well you can add judo and sambo is what I just said. Yeah. But yeah, you could have um Add something else to the um, jiu-jitsu as well, because you got the um, jiu-jitsu, then you can have BJJ on there, but they basically kind of mix together and all that already, so yeah. Striking-wise, I already talked about karate and taekwondo could be added on here. And what else? Hmm. I guess you could have freaking MMA stand up and you can have MMA grammar. Those could be disciplines on here. Wait a minute, I know, I know I'm talking. Oh, wait. We're hurry on the right thing. Now, let me go back. One, two. 
I could just press SD card and it will take me back to as far as I need Let's see. Nah, it's for the MMA game that I thought about creating. Mm, I got it on here. There we go. Pepperello. Yeah. I said Sambo. Boosie. Yeah. Fast Kung Fu. Couple people who come from an actual Kung Fu background. Like Kevin Holland came from one, and there was somebody called the, um. What's his, what was he called? He, um. I forget what his nickname was, but he had the Mexican style, or. I believe that he was a good ass kickboxer. He almost beat, um. What's his name? Yeah, what's his name? Um. And that's the who? Ernest Hoof. Or Hoof. His last name is. I think it is Ernest Hoof. Because. But it's H O O S T. I forgot how to pronounce it though. He's supposed to be the greatest kickboxer of all time. Especially the. Well, practically the greatest heavyweight kickboxer of all time, you know? And stuff like that. Um. Giorgio Petrosian is probably the greatest technically sound kickboxer of all time. And stuff like that. But they both are up there, you know. He is the greatest, you know. He's the GOAT. And then of his era in the Giorgio Petrosian, he's the greatest of his era. You know, I'll put it like that, you know. And he still fights. He be having fights all the time on one championship, kickboxing bouts. Because one championship is not just in May, they be kickboxing and Muay Thai also over there, which is great. Mm. Yeah, there's nothing else to say. I was just showing this to see what other styles that I forgot to mention. That's what I would have on for a game and stuff like that. And like each of them would score like a certain type amount of points and stuff like that. You got striking, everything that's for striking, everything that's for punch. And then everything that's for grappling as far as like going to get to the ground and stuff like that to get it to the ground. Because I consider punch to be standing grappling, but like actual grappling to me is when you get to the ground and submissions and stuff like that. Transitions and submissions are both, you know, jujitsu and wrestling of all kinds. They're all just grappling. Yeah. This is a little inside of that stuff. All right, we can go back on here. We can end this. I know again we at fifty. Wow. I just turned that up just to turn it up because I recently put that on my playlist because this is just the um the playlist for while I'm gaming and stuff like that. The, the stuff I like to listen to while I'm gaming and stuff. I even got some pro wrestling things versus Sammy Guevara. That's probably his and I forget the other guy's name. Him and um Sean Spears is those two things are probably my favorite. As far as like pro wrestler things at the moment, it's good rap with theirs. And, um, and like I just love the beat of Apollo Cruz's thing. I hope they don't change it because he's supposed to be like a heel now, so they may end up changing his shit. Supposed to be going with some, you know, the Marvel character, Black Panther, or whatever like that. Everybody knows who the Black Panthers are and stuff like that, what they still for, but it's based off the Marvel character. That's what his thing is. And he's Nigerian. Like, everybody knows Nigerians are trying to take over MMA and shit like that. 
We got um, Kamara Uzman and Israel Sanya, who are respected champions of 170 pounds and 185 pounds. And then you got somebody who's coming up in 145 pounds. And then you got um, somebody who's definitely, they, they got to have somebody at 100 hundred um fifty five pounds and at two oh five and at heavyweight. Well they do got somebody at two oh five. Yeah, he just won a fight. He just won a freaking fight. Yeah, I guess um Israel Sanya's teammate. He just won a fight. Yeah. Heavyweight you got um Kamar Uzman's teammate. I mean his brother a teammate. Well he is a teammate but he's his brother. Yeah he's Brother, and he's um, fighting PFL. Who knows? They're, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. I'm pretty sure because freaking the most diverse roster you'll probably ever see is probably freaking one championship because they got every freaking body from Asia fights in one championship. And you're everybody, every region, everything, everybody. Everybody gets to fight it over there. Because they don't go get. They don't just got freaking MMA. They also got the kickboxing and the Muay Thai and stuff like that. Because everybody always thinks that MMA is supposed to be only stand-up. Because, you know, I get it. You want to see knockouts and this, that, and the other. But, like, if those fighters are not capable of producing knockouts because they can't get off the ground, they shouldn't be doing MMA. Go and do something else. You know? You don't get an MMA... If you want to be an MMA and you want to knock people out, you gotta be able to defend because eventually somebody's gonna be able to take you down. You gotta either be good off your back or get back up off your back. But what I know, nothing, absolutely nothing. I'm not talking crap about anybody because like, you fight the way you want to fight, you know? And that's how some of them get paid by finding the way they want to fight which people gravitate towards, you know? Not freaking care about the wins or losses, stuff like that. Of course they care about them, but like, you know, if they just get taken down and held on the ground and that's how they lose a fight, they, they don't really sweat those type of losses. A lot of fighters don't sweat those type of losses because they ain't really get beat. They just got held there. You know, if somebody just lays on top of you without trying to harm you or anything like that, you can just sit calmly down there, especially if they're not transitioning or trying to submit you or hurt you or stuff like that. You can just sit right there until you can't get off or until they get tired. But a lot of times, they'll just be there forever. Like, if it was a street fight, <laughs> like, if they had no time limit in MMA like they like they used to have with all the um stuff, not just the the first UFCs and stuff like that, but even before then, everything was just no time limit. Or they had, like, a 30-minute time limit or something like that. So they would just sit there on you. The referee would just be there to stop the fight. But now they got it where if you're stalling and you're not doing no damage, they'll stand them back up and stuff like that. Because you hear the referee all the time say improve the position if they haven't done nothing like good 15 or 20 or 30 seconds and stuff like that because the rounds are only five minutes. But they do that shit even more if they know the fight is close. You know, they don't want somebody to win by just having done that the whole fight. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Just talking randomly about stuff as usual. You know, that's what I do. Right here. Talk about crap I absolutely don't know. Again, this is MMA Federation. And what else? God damn it. I wish I could do that, but like, I don't got that on the screen. There's an app I got now that's called the, um, what's it called? It's not even, a, it's a, you know, it's an app, but it's really an app store, and it's called Tap Tap. And like, 
it's cool as heck. It's one of it's one of those foreign app stores and stuff like that, and it's pretty good stuff like that. Um, you poke you able to download it off of. I forget the website. I'll probably talk about it some other time. Yeah, because I need to get off of here. It'll be a goddamn hour again. All right, so to the next one later, all the other stuff. And if you stay to the end, listen to me just talk nonsense. I guess, thanks. You don't have to. Because I would suggest to stop listening after the gameplay is over with. Unless I'm still talking about it, then you can get information. But other than that... Just stop listening to it. Me rambling on about in, about what I watch but don't do or ever training and stuff like that. You don't have to listen to that nonsense. You know. You know. I don't really like that type of nonsense. And that's what you see in comic pictures. That's why I don't really comment on when watching the UFC fights or one championship. If I have comments. It's not about the actual fight. It's about something else other than the fight. Like, I did, I did comments on time about one championship because, you know, all the time, the guy who does the interviews for one championship, the post-fight interviews, to me, he's better than Joe Rogan. He's better than Joe Rogan because Joe Rogan can't translate. Everybody else doesn't translate the information they sell. You know, <laughs> when they speak into foreign language, people and stuff like that. They don't translate themselves. And my thing is, that doesn't make them better to draw over with the post-fight interviews and stuff like that. I just think they're like, that's something you don't see all the time. Usually you see lost in translation and stuff like that. Because the thing is, it's so weird where, you know, the commentator, and it's not, and I wanted to say that he's better than Joe Rogan at post-fight interviews and stuff like that. I can't even say that. So I'll take that back. It's just that the translators, they don't always know exactly what somebody freaking says. And Khabib always jokingly say whatever the heck he thinks, you know, his fighters are trying to say and shit like that when he be, you know, cornering people. He don't really say exactly what they're saying <laughs> all the time. He just said, it was a good fight. Even though he just sat there and talked for like 30 seconds straight, he said, he, he thinks it was a good fight and... He's glad that he was able to showcase all his skills tonight. And, yeah. And he wants to thank his team and everybody and his family and stuff like that. And praise Allah. You know, that's the gist of what he says when they do the bus thing. Because he's like, learn that shit. You know, you got to learn the English. <laughs> but see, because he don't really translate this stuff. But, like, I see all the time, like, the people who do the translations and shit like that for fighters and stuff like that. And like, even though I don't speak many languages, the translators, when you hear somebody talk for like almost a whole minute or two saying what they want to say, doing their post-fight interview speak, and then you hear the translator speak for only like 10 or 15 seconds, you'd be like, he did just translate everything he says. I mean, like, and like, I think that it's a hard thing to do because you're basically translating right after they get to you speaking. If they speak for a long as time, some things are going to be missed that you're supposed to be translating stuff like that. I get that. That's why I don't know why there's not no, you know, Google Translate or nothing like that that they use in Center Octagon. I get that, yeah, translators want to have a job, but like, do you really deserve a job? If you can't translate exactly what somebody's saying, you shouldn't have the job in the first place. Because it makes them come across as not knowing what they're saying or talking about. So you can't translate it properly. It is what it is with all of that. But I guess it makes it look more professional to have somebody try to translate it versus having exactly what they said come out. But the um, translators, the um, the freaking apps and stuff like that to try to translate or Google Translate or whatever like that. The one with the voice and stuff like that. It may not be as great because, like, I'm not sure because I never used Google Translate for anything ever. I'm not sure if besides when I'm on a different website and everything's in a foreign language and I trans- have the Google Translate turn it back to English. Besides doing that, I'm not sure if the Google Translate would pick up slang. You know, like, 
words that, you know, that's not common words that are used to say this, that, and the other. Like, we pick up stuff like crib or, or, what's another word that doesn't really sound like an English word? That's about, that's a bunch of them, but I don't really speak too much slang myself, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's the only word that came to mind, because, like, you know, it's fucking, like, you, you really live in a crib? Like, you know, like, there's, there's baby cribs, you know, and shit like that, but, like, they mean crib as your home, your house, where you stay and stuff like that. I'm like, oh. Like, I, I wonder who the hell first said that, because that's not that, that can't be that old. The word crib for your house and home. It has to be like from like the 80s or 90s or 70s, possibly 90s. I don't know if that's that old, the way they use it now and stuff like that with crib. Uh, again, I'm, I'm just talking about nonsense again, so just watch the gameplay and sorry again. Well, I'm not sorry because if you if you didn't listen to me for the past. What, it was over at, what, 59, I mean, 49 minutes? If you've been listening to me since then, that's your problem. Okay, thank you, but, but it's also your problem. All right, see you next one later. Peace, and hope you enjoy.